Tonight, the battle between a Chicago woman and the man she hired to train two of her dogs. She's filed complaints accusing him of abuse and wants changes to state law. In the meantime, he filed his own lawsuit against her for defamation and alleged failure to pay in full. And Lourdes has more on tonight's WGN Investigates. Yeah, I want to start with a warning, Ray, about the video you'll see in the story. Some of it may be tough to watch. The dog training business is expected to become a billion dollar industry in the next four years. Here's the thing, dog trainers are largely unregulated, which is where the problem begins for the woman you are about to meet. Down, stay, good boy. This year has been tough for Reina Lujano and her two pit bulls, Rafael and Leo, who she says spent the winter recovering. Give me paw. Thank you, Leo, thank you. She adores animals, which is why she's sharing her story. Let's go. Yeah. She first met with us back in February, three months after hiring a dog trainer for her two and three-year-old dogs. Sit, sit, stay. Good boy, good boy. She says they needed to learn to follow commands. Lujano double-checked her referral on social media. Everything he was telling me to go on his Facebook page, everything looked real. Canine Training by Tillman is owned by trainer Tillman Colbert Jones. He previously worked for a reputable pet training and grooming facility in Chicago, so Lujano had no reason to doubt him. She says she hired Colbert Jones and showed us her list of online payments totaling $5,600 to train and feed her two pit bulls and daycare training for her third dog. He was supposed to do two weeks. He said he, that in two weeks the dogs would be great to go, good to go. Yeah, you're gonna miss the little booty birds? The booty birds? I get emotional. This video captured the day Lujano and the family said goodbye. The trainer picked up the animals and kept in touch. Rafael and Leo were gone for 16 days. Lujano says she'll never forget the night they returned and the days that followed. His tail is cut. Yeah. Oh no, you, like it's caught, caught. Where do you think the blood is coming from? You could see the bodies. Um, you could see Raphael's uh, physical body was extremely bony. You immediately see the missing ear tips on Leo, bite marks, the blood around their necks. Um, you could tell their bodies were damp and wet. Lujano has now filed a string of complaints with the city and state, along with letters to anyone who will listen. She details in those letters the condition she says her dogs were in after training. I'm going to continue keeping this public. WGN investigates found training by Tillman is not licensed in Illinois to board animals, even though it advertises on Facebook to do just that, with postings for one or two week board and train or even personalized boarding. Let's go. Good boy. Three months after Lujano's complaint, city investigators took action. In February of 2022, the city of Chicago cited Tillman Colbert Jones with two animal cruelty ordinance violations for failing to provide proper food, water, and shelter in the case of Lujano's two dogs. We reached him by phone. He denied the allegations and told us he filed a lawsuit against Lujano, accusing her of libel and slander and requesting a $50,000 judgment. Then, in April, he appeared at an administrative hearing to present his case on the city violations. It was continued until July, but WGN Investigates talked to him as that hearing wrapped up. Do you feel like you're mistreating any of these animals? Of course not. Never. Tell me about your background with training. I've been training for a long time. Do you feel like you need a license? A license to train? I got you. I got you. I got it you. turns you out there is no license required to train animals, only to board them. It has really led to a, a big problem in our state and I would say in most states. Oh, I got it. Ready? 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 Go again. Jay Spainauer knows dog training well. He's in charge of training the animals that come into Chicago's anti-cruelty society. To my knowledge, there's really no requirements for a person to train a dog in the state of Illinois. Anybody can call themselves a trainer. That means unless trainers are boarding animals, there is no agency regulating them, and methods on how to train vary. 
It's difficult to police this type of thing. The Illinois Department of Agriculture confirmed to WGN Investigates through email that it launched its own investigation about illegal boarding allegations against Colbert Jones. That investigation is ongoing. As far as what happened to Lujano's dogs during their training, she says the trainer told her the two animals fought each other. But she questions why they weren't treated immediately for injuries that she says continue to cost her hundreds of dollars to manage. The money doesn't matter to me, though. Why not? Because you just want your dogs happy. Since they can't communicate, you just want them, you know, to live a good life. That's what a lot of dog owners want, which is why her story has resonated with animal rights advocates who are looking to Springfield to take on the issue. In Illinois, we regulate just about every profession. And so it was a little surprising to find that in this profession, some places require a license, but then there's no real standards. 32nd District State Senator Craig Wilcox is looking at drafting legislation that could make a difference. We hope to say, hey, we are putting things in place that would prevent a mass tragedy. You know, whether you have an animal pack that ends up picking on a couple of other dogs and mauling them, whether staff's getting injured and how do they respond. Come here. Sit. It could take more than a year to develop and improve new laws. Meanwhile, Reina Lujano has hired a new trainer to get her beloved pit bulls back on track. Give me paw. Good boy. Good boy. And there is a push right now to create similar legislation to regulate dog training in Wisconsin. Meanwhile, Tillman Colbert-Jones has not been convicted of any wrongdoing. The two sides head back to an administrative hearing tomorrow regarding the two citations issued by the city of Chicago. We have posted information on WGNTV.com to help if you're in search of a trainer to help your pet. Ray?